Is it time for Jacktober? Yes. Jacktober. Okay. Well, let's hit that thing, then. It's Jacktober. Is it? A celebration of all things shitty in radio. The very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. It's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jacktober. OMG. Hosts, holes, bits, and stunt boys. This isn't funny. It's time for Jacktober. Yeah. That's right, Jacktober. Love me, Love me some Jacktober. Uh, you know why I like Jacktober? Why? Reason number one, them niggas be crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That is funny. He's a Mormon. He ain't got no hose. He ain't got no hose. <laughs> There's some funny lines in there. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle got a fat ass. Are you ready for the unveiling? <laughs> yeah, the Please. unveiling. We didn't know who we were going to feature because it's folded over. It says, special welcome back, Opie edition. That's right. It's not me, is it? No. You'll like it. <sighs> you worried it was going to be you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you happy? Sort of. I was hoping for Terry Clifford. She'll come. Her time oh, will come. Man. Why would you rip it in half? <laughs> you haven't even started. <laughs> it's Scott and Todd. Yeah! It's Scott and Todd. Scott and Todd. Oh, Erock just perked up. <laughs> Very happy. His he mentors. Erock, you want to leave the room so uh, you can't oh, get in man. trouble with those guys? I'm fine. You sure you're fine? Are you over your Scott and Todd thing? Yes. Bullshit. Will this include... Let me just uh, try something. Will this include some, um, some bits that they... Uh, they're benchmark bits. Maybe. Maybe. How about a song parody? Wouldn't be Scott and Todd without oh, a song parody, would it? With the shoehorning? <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Congrats. Scott uh, starts up some of that classic Scott and Todd banter. Scott and Todd, today's Jocktober. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> well, here's the deal. What's wrong with his mouth? Here's the deal. His mouth looks like it's hanging from here's the deal. I've had so much work done, it's pulled my mouth and doesn't close anymore. <laughs> I think you're right, though. I think that's exactly what's happening. They probably hit a nerve or something. Oh, man. Her style. I bet you part of his mouth is numb. Lower bands. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the deal. I had a guy drop me off in uh, Connecticut. Right. Up in Fairfield. You had a golf outing yesterday, we should say. You weren't playing out with your shovel and tail. <laughs> At the Brooklawn Golf Club mm -hmm. in Fairfield. So I got there. It's about, I don't know, it's about an hour and 10 <laughs> minutes from the city, maybe 45, 50 minutes from my house. So <laughs> I'm stuck for that. at the mercy of my friends whenever they want to come home, right? So I'm catching a ride back home. Right. And I'm waiting. I said, Bill said it's just going to sprinkle a little bit and it's going to We're going to be all right. Yeah. It didn't work that way. No. No. It just kept coming down and coming down and coming down. Mm -hmm. Holy Wait shit. Wait a minute, what happened? All right. That's a weather break? It went to, yeah, Joe Nolan's forecast from yesterday was off. Oh, he's yeah, making fun yeah. of a weather guy for not getting the weather right. Curm Didn't you hear oh, what he said? No. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm stupefied oh. at his voice. That's weird. Oh, was 45 minutes past the hour. Something bad going on there. He's uh, spitting. Uh, what else did he say? Uh, with his F word was messed up. No, he said, fruh, 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 fruh. He said something. Right? <laughs> yeah, he stumbled the flub There was a few of them in there. Fruh, fruh, what was the what was the F word in the middle? Uh, I don't want to play it again. Please uh, fruh, just for a second. Fruh, 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 How about just for a second? What part of it was? Just the beginning. Fruh, fruh, it was in the first couple of seconds. He's it like, was? Yeah, it was, it was. Maybe we take it from the top. Yeah. Uh, well, here's the deal. <laughs> I had a guy drop me off <laughs> in. Uh, Connecticut, right? Up in Fairfield. You had a golf outing yesterday, we should say. You weren't playing out with your shovel and tail. <laughs> I was up at the Brooklawn Golf Club mm -hmm. in Fairfield. So I got Fairfield. He S's he his F's, if that makes sense. Horrendous. That was on the radio? And a lot of people listened to it. Wow. What was the bit? Making fun of the weather guy for getting the forecast wrong, I guess? That's Theoretically. Hmm. But what happens when Scott does, like, his jokes is Todd gives look, him nothing. Look, I know. Yeah, yeah. He hates him. Todd hates him. Nothing. You could tell. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if you're listening to it, you could tell. Scott, Todd gives Scott absolutely nothing. Nothing. Eric, is that true? You used to work for them. Don't they, 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 they're not in the same studio when there's a break. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Not even wow. for the music this or anything? This was back in the late 90s when I was there. They would... 
they'd come in when the show started during the break one would leave one would be in there wow. and then the second that show was over one's out the door really yeah. no chit chat not that i saw no wow and, and you could tell because todd gives scott Nothing. As far as no. Todd's concerned, he's the funny guy, and Scott can keep his humorous oh, yeah. anecdotes to himself. <laughs> bar, 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 bar. Wow. Good news, though. they got a lot of Facebook friends. Yeah. And a for lot a show of... that's been around forever, they're doing pretty well on Facebook. Are they? Yeah. How many people? 2,688. <laughs> There's a deal. That's 2,037 yesterday. There's a deal. <laughs> a lot of their listeners are... <laughs> <laughs> and the Rangers kept coming down. I saw like Ted Sheckler. <laughs> <laughs> He's a boob. We start at phase two, by the way, because they already do not have their public wall open. Oh, I don't know if that's something we can take credit wow. for or just what they do. But I like it. I like our post. I don't even hear a listener's post. <laughs> they told it to hear me. <laughs> but the rain was coming down. I want to do a, a, a post about how much it was raining in full frontal collecting. Jesus. We're raining like crazy. Maybe it was just talking. The spittle. <laughs> the spittle was hitting him in the face. I went for my friend. There's a deal. I like to get home right away. <laughs> <laughs> they're going through and deleting comments, but they're coming in too quick. Uh, okay. They're deleting them already? Yeah. They call me a rocket and cut doing that. It's not fair. Cool. Fair, fair. I sound marvelous. You think he knows that uh, Eric Nagel is responsible for all oh, this? Oh, Eric. I will fuck it out. Nice to him. Turn it on me. <laughs> Turn it on me. He's turned on me like perfect. Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. <laughs> I told him, oh, he's slow fade out of the song, fat boy. <laughs> Where do you think he got that? He didn't think about it in his own fat little head. <laughs> I came out of my fat head. <laughs> hey, that's too funny. He <laughs> yeah. was in there <laughs> fluffing her. You're, you're making Scott sound too funny now. Stop. <laughs> fat little Nagel kid. Yeah, fat, fat Nagel kid. Fat little Nagel kid. Oh. Where's our fat little Nagel kid? I need fluff another. He's a traitor. A traitor, I tell you. <laughs> Scott and Todd talk about Britney Spears. Listen as Scott adds. Anyone? Nothing. <laughs> well, it's the Spanish version. Oh. oh. No, no, not no. not a. <laughs> Britney Spears is 30, and I tell you that because it makes the story all the more interesting. Her daddy and her fiance have set all the parental controls on her internet and cell phone usage. Come on. They're afraid if she reads a negative story about herself, she will go into another tailspin, and it's their job to keep her sane and working and making money. Well, you know, they've really done a great job with her. It's obvious that she needs strict guidance as she goes through her life. She's 30. But this is a hair ridiculous, though. I understand though. that, but I mean, something, <laughs> something's off with her. Yeah, she's got a problem. Well, then she's got to fend for herself. She's 30 years old. Your mommy and daddy can't be setting your DVR so you don't see brief nudity on Homeland. <laughs> How about she's probably her dad? That, this, kids keep talking about Google. What is that? Everybody Google? watches this Homeland show too, but my TV won't get it. You got a broken TV. <laughs> That's for your own good. <laughs> well, if they let her go, your next thing you know, she'll be running around with that broomstick with her head shaved or whatever the hell. But she was. already does that. No, Aren't you responsible for your own actions at 30 years yes. old? Yes. Yeah, well, sometimes you don't need to be, though. You have to be. What? You're well, 30 years old. Well, she's going to marry this guy, and then he can keep an eyeball on her. <laughs> Wait, what it's, happened? It's beyond me. What happened there? Scott, it taught, Scott's interjection. Why are you crying? Because I get such a kick. I love, I, I love when Sam starts crying. He just starts crying. Because there are times, I don't know, there'll be some funny shit going on in this studio. You look over at Sam, he just stares at you. Yeah. Stone-faced. Yeah. But then we get this version where you're crying. It's so funny. I feel a weird sense of humor, I suppose, because nothing's funnier to me than hearing this like terrible banter, and they're all throwing these bad jokes back and forth, and then Scott just chimes in with, "Right, a broken TV." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was the worst <laughs> fucking improv ever. <laughs> all right, broken TV. Yeah, broken Scott, just we, says that. Broken we got TV. It, Scott. Uh, they're talking about the DVR set. He's just, he, just, he takes it wrong. It's not about a broken, broken TV, TV. shithead. Broken TV. You, like... gotta, you gotta go to the Rexall and get some new tubes for the TV. <laughs> How old is it? It's like having a broken tongue. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that. Because the way I see this show is like Todd is forming this show the way he sees fit, and he's got the rest of the studio on his side. Uh -huh. So it's like this whole group of people, but you know and what? Scott is this island that's not connected <laughs> with this group of people. But you know what? Whatsoever. In all fairness, uh, you know, Todd's a pussy. He should yeah, he, he should have went off on his own a long time ago then. No, he's passive it, aggressive about it. Because they're like they're 
he's he has way more energy and he's a lot younger. He and wants, he obviously doesn't like the guy. Some fucking move on. How old is he? How old is Todd? He's probably in his. Early fifties, I would say. So, do, do but but he frosts his hair he to make him look like oh he's in his late twenties. Yes. Let me see a picture of them on the website. Ew. He has uh, frosted tips. Ew, no, he doesn't. No, no he's I don't. all blonde now. Oh, now he's all blonde. Oh. Oh, frost your hair, you like a fryer. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, he had a brunette mullet. Yep. Yeah, who didn't though, right? Well, oh, mm. hey, there you go. All right, listen. Is that recent? Yeah. Why do they have Todd? I like the fact that Scott stands in the back. Way, way in the because background. Because Todd gets in the room first, and then he takes the space. Yeah, I well. see that picture. No, nah, that's calculated. Scott knows his face looks better if it's a little further back. <laughs> oh. Let's get some layers in front A little forced perspective. Oh, yeah, he's, sure. he's back there, but his head is the same size as everyone else's. <laughs> it really is. That's weird. How big is his fucking head? <laughs> All right, let's uh, continue more of the Scott and Please. Todd chemistry flows from the radio during this break about mm. Billy Corgan. We had Billy Corgan on. Yes. He met Taylor Swift, though. He's not Taylor a fan Swift. of Taylor Swift, though. Uh, you are or not? No, not really. What? She's, she's Because a, she's, you're mean? She's a phony. Taylor Swift is awesome. She's going to be here someday. Her dumb innocence drives me nuts. Her dumb, fake innocence. You don't like that? She's the bomb. Uh, she stinks. Mm. That golly gee attitude she has at every... Oh, my yeah. God, really? Me you know, again? I once... Oh, my God, I can't believe not, it. You're not buying that? Not at all. Scott and Todd oh. showbiz on the 10. All right. Oh. Remember from, like, 1991 when Billy Corrigan was a thing? Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, from yeah, Smashing Puppets. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's back in wrong. the news. He's being sued by Eric Dane. That's uh, Mick Steamy from Grey's Anatomy. He's married to actress Rebecca Gayhart. Now, what happened was during a storm, Corrigan's eucalyptus tree crashed through wow. McSteamy's Beverly Hills home. Wow. Rebecca was home at the time, pregnant. Nine months pregnant. She had to flee the house. She was almost killed. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Holy He's got shit. nothing. <laughs> But, He's got nothing. But he has confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a tree on my house. I've got a tree on my house. Because that's really what she had. Yeah, <laughs> that could yeah. not be your favorite Yeah, when you're going for comedy, you can't great. just, like, state the obvious. Yeah, exactly. State the yeah, obvious. Yeah. There's water droplets falling. Yeah. I got a tree on my house. This year for Jack Tilbert, can I do Scott and Todd once a week? <laughs> Dude, it really is no, amazing. Too much I love, I too love much. Scott's uh, just you, obvious throw. You could get a, a, you could, you could give us a peek, just a little like a track in the, in between all the other tracks. Okay, Maybe an example of Scott just throwing in something stupid like, yeah. like I, got I got a, a tree on my TV. house. Broke a TV. I got a tree on my house. My car's in my garage. <laughs> Can we hear that line one more time because it's a There's valueless water in line. My swimming pool. <laughs> he makes millions. <laughs> yeah. To state the obvious during comedy. Beverly Hills home. Rebecca was home at the time, pregnant, nine months pregnant. She had to flee the house. She was almost killed. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> Are you a, a private citizen? <laughs> and then he goes, mm. do, you think, do you think Todd laughed at that? Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Todd will never give him an inch. Well, never why should a, he, though? Never give him a sympathy laugh because he's trying to turn the show against Scott slowly. Mm. And she had to flee the house. She was almost killed. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> <laughs> that clip should be added. Oh, I got a tree on my house. <laughs> That's, That's great. fucking terrible. Oh, is that great? Is that bad, Jimmy? That's awesome. Build. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> I got a tree on my house. What does that mean? Oh, man. Yeah. Flee the house. She was almost <laughs> killed. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> Mm. Can you, a, a private citizen, own a eucalyptus tree? <laughs> I believe so. Yes. Isn't that the stuff that's in the Vicks vapor rub? That's right. Yes. Yeah. I think it's all right. You can rub that on yourself. That's right. And then recola. If you have a cold. Yeah. <laughs> and then the recola horn with the cough drop. You <laughs> probably have the recola tree also in that yard. I don't think you can grow a cough drop tree. <laughs> <laughs> Holy like, fuck. He's like, shut up, old man. You're yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make way for Todd. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Todd with some funny Watch banter. out for Todd. Yeah. God, he was... He, he's... Wow, what? Ha I, wow. I don't know what that is. It's horrible. You don't think recall the tree is a good line? I, don't, I didn't get it. I made a tree out of cough drops. Now it's on my house. 
And then Todd just has to stop everything and be like, no, you don't understand. That's physically impossible. Yeah, it's, uh, people Couldn't can't ha- do that. Couldn't happen. You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first few clips certainly featured uh, how awful Scott is. And now the next clip will show you how bad Todd is. Oh. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Song parody time. That's right. Song do every parody day? time. Every single day, 7.30 and 9.30. He writes Unless a song the... parody a day. He, well, I think... Uh, well, obviously. He's got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is obvious. <laughs> right. What am I saying? Look, it's just, very obvious. Just imagine your favorite band and them writing a song every day. Guess Having what? To write a song. <laughs> Guess day. what? You would hate that band, and they would just not be very good. No. Yes. So obviously he's, he writes one every day. <laughs> yeah. But is he always delivers. Or no, just New York. Huh? huh? Just New York. I believe it might. It's just New York. Is it just New York? E rock. I think so. Yeah, they tried syndication and it didn't work. Didn't work out too well. So why why they continue to do okay in New York? Soccer moms, Long Island and New Jersey. There's soccer ball on my roof. I bet Todd blames blames, uh, the syndication failing on Scott. You think so? Yeah, Todd thinks Scott Shannon is washed up. (laughs) You think they play to the Pinterest crowd? (laughs) They try. Pinterest. They try. That's for soccer moms. What's Pinterest? Oh, it's the latest hubbub in social media. I don't know. You put pins on stuff you like or something. Ew. It's a, yeah, it's, it's for ladies. Sounds great. Uh, here's what, What's the song parody about? Well, they start. It's it's uh, what I like about Todd's song parodies. Oh God! <laughs> is that it? It always gives you a, a slice of pop culture in there. You know ah, what I mean? Ooh, I like little, that little pop culture commentary. Goes and you into sort of it. know the song, right? Right. Uh, what's the, happening now? The original song. It may be an older song, but you know it. The jokes are topical. Right. Oh, I kind of like that. And it's like, oh, it gives me something to listen to and something to talk about at the water cooler. Uh huh. Is there any uh, shoehorning? I mean, Scott's been doing this for, I mean, Todd's been doing this for a long time. Yeah. So at this point, he knows how to structure a song. He knows how to fit a word in where it has the same amount of syllables exactly as right. the original, so you're not, you're not getting off the beat of the song. Right. Because right. that, that ruins a song parody to me. I, I, I hate that. Just because he rushes, he, he does a song a day, Yeah. doesn't mean that he rushes through them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's right, like creativity. Putting the accent in the wrong spot to suit the music. He doesn't and, do oh, that. that's, okay, good. Picking no. up with Scott and Todd. 95.5 PLJ. Understand, girl or man, you're a mess if you're a low hand. You're out of the pies, you already. <laughs> a low hand. <laughs> a low hand. So Lindsay Lohan. It's about But you want to talk about a low hand, a low hand. <laughs> Not a low hand. It, it, it already he shoehorned in <laughs> a low Girl hand. man. Da, 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 a low hand. And this is to the Spider Man theme. Correct. Oh. He's out of songs, is that it? <laughs> it's kinda clever. You think so? Oh yeah. yeah I would I bet Chip likes this one. I think these guys are great. I mean, oh. Scott was um, talking the other day, right, about this tree that fell on, and he said something like, there's a fucking tree on your house. <laughs> Me and my mother were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Chip, right? did you hear that? Get in here. And she told me. I was like, Ma, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alohan. This is fucking good. Alohan. Understand, girl or man, you're a mess if you're a low hand. Your alibi is you were high. Doesn't matter how hard you try, you're smooth if you're born a low hand. <laughs> oh if my god, a low hand. If you're born a low hand. What? It fits. It's perfect. I got a tree on my hand. <laughs> uh, got a tree on my hand. Uh, god, the song parody is broken. So I got a tree on my house. <laughs> I got a tree on my hand. I got a tree on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tree on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's broken. Ah, him, uh, tree. Tree is broken. Tree him and Imus would be a good uh, <laughs> team. Yeah, well, I'm talking like this now. Yeah, they're similar. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, there's a tree on my house. And a tree on your house. <laughs> oh, a tree fell on my house. Oh, How a tree fell on your house. <laughs> oh, God, I would listen to that every day. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get much more out of those two. No. I'm on a little hand. They're laughing in the back. Hit and run just for fun. Trouble follows you by the tongue. 
Dad's awake, mom's a skank. That's the couple Lindsay can thank. She's through being born a lawyer. Have a drink, pop a pill, and go on, Dr. Phil. Try to fix dirty tricks, then lie to Judge Alex. Oh. Uh, Wait, what happened there? To Judge Alex. Yeah. Oh, oh. I hate the laughter in the background. Oh, they're laughing in the back. I'm like, <laughs> first time I heard this. Well, that's the uncomfortable understand. laugh. Yeah. See what happens when there's no funny going on? Then right. you, then you kind of start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> no, they see Scott and Todd in the morning, whatever they are, are listening right along with the listeners. Like yeah. it's all oh. us listening together. So they're just yeah, enjoying yeah. it themselves. We're all uh, laughing together. Oh. Like they're laughing where I'm laughing. They're not cueing the audience like, you, you should laugh right here. No, it's not like a human laugh track. No, oh. it's not that at all. Oh. This is so bad. They argue, then they sue. That is nothing special or new. <laughs> nothing when they fight or late new. at night, somebody winds up getting a bite. Oh, oh man, it sucks to be a low hand. Go to jail, oh, get out on bail. They just ignore the justice scale. Ignore. Throw a punch, have sex at lunch. They're like the evil Brady Bunch. You're screwed. Oh, the <laughs> if you're one of them, that's what I'm laughing about. The if they're oh. out on a date and things seem like they're great, wait a minute or two for the lights, red and blue. If you meet a law, hey. oh yeah, uh, this is Scott and Todd uh, in the morning. Then right to the right to the sweepy. You know what I just realized? <sighs> yeah, Todd Pangale definitely is so pissed off that Rob Bartlett gets all the Broadway roles. Oh, he wants, he to, be wants to be Broadway so bad. Sure. And he just curses about Rob Bartlett. Oh, all the listen time. to him. He's fucking putting on a production. <laughs> yeah. Here, he's doing he's doing those fucking key changes where it goes up on like Vegas. You're probably not allowed to bother Todd when he's in his studio. Oh, don't bother me. I'm creating. Yeah. He's in his zone. The lights red and blue. Oh. Da 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 I don't like a my Scott... tongue's been banged more. Than <laughs> I don't like how Scott sells for Todd all the time. Yeah. Every time Todd does something, Scott is just selling. Oh and yeah. And then Scott tries to put his own shit out, and he just gets the big no sell from Pettengale. Nothing. 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 Well, that's um, wonderful. <sighs> Yeah. The, the other thing that Todd's really good at, besides song parodies, obviously. Oh, boy. That's what he's known for. He's great at the song parody. He knows how to do a good phone scam, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh no. The phone And I love pointing this oh, out no. every year. That's the other thing, by the way. The every phone single scam day. is dead in radio because you're not allowed to do them anymore. Yeah. Right. But they continue to do them using people that they know, sales girls and whatnot. Right. I believe that in most cases, but if you listen to this call... If, if they're acting, they deserve an Academy Award. So they're oh. taking chances. I believe they're saying, "Fuck you, FCC. We're going to continue doing the phone scam." Cool. I believe, based on the length of the call, wow. the scenario, wow, um, and just the back and forth between the two, that there's no possible way this could be fake. Damn. All right. Well, fuck me, running. I mean, yeah. the to I Excited. separated it into tracks for you, <laughs> but the total length of this phone scam, like, how long would you say a phone scam should be on terrestrial radio? Forty-five minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> Chip, good one. This one was a little shorter. <laughs> <laughs> he did a, a seven-minute 
Oh, why? my God. <laughs> We're not kidding. listening to all seven minutes, are we? Well, I'm not going to cut off his punchline. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> why would you do this? <laughs> People well, are going to hate fucking I'm Jack I'm sure Tolbert. we'll be able to uh, chime in on some of the acting and set up well so. no where it would be this is just a straight oh, seven oh, minute oh, oh, phone call gold well it is, it's actually really good here we go it starts here phone scan begins scott and todd being featured on uh jack tober today 955 plj oh. so it's gotta be noisy scott and todd in the morning at exactly 7 30 and being the sticklers for promptness That's right we remind right. you, it's time for the phone scan. Pay attention. We'll oh. get you in to see Daughtry. It's a meet and greet. The other thing about regular radio, they do their best bid at 7.30 in the morning. That means they think this is amazing. Literally every single day. 7.30 and 9.30. Phone scams on PLJ. Daughtry. I'll say Daughtry. Because they've learned uh, by using people meters that you need some kind of schedule for the listeners. Of course. 7.30 is always the best bit of a, a radio I'm show. I'm sure they'll prove it. Right yeah, it, 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 this is the best bit of the morning, as far as I'm concerned. It's a meet and greet situation. We're doing it all day today. 7.30 a.m., 12.30, and then 5.30 this afternoon. This is all about a fellow who's experiencing a terrible problem with his Bluetooth device. Oh. He's got to call the store <laughs> where he bought it and see if they can help him out. The phone scam is called Selly Belly. <laughs> Customer service. Yeah, you got some juice head back there in tech support I can yammer with or what? Excuse me? You are you in charge back oh, there? Or what? Jerky Can I help you with your off. cell phone service? Not exactly. I need somebody in that joint with some actual practical knowledge about Bluetooth devices and the extraction of same. I might be able to help you. You're a Bluetooth expert? I have some knowledge of it. All right. My I'm... name is Al Coon Slambag, and I live in Mamaronite, okay? Okay. I uh, was in uh, Slambag. Al Coon Slambag. And she just goes, okay? Oh, okay, that's your okay, name. Okay, can I help that you I live in my Maronex. Slam bag. I listen to the laugh they give him in the back for his funny name. Yeah. Oh, 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 well, yeah, oh, yeah. He found the funniest city in Westchester. I hilarious. The Maronek. I hilarious. I'm slam bag, and I live in Mamaronek, okay? Okay. I was in there a couple of months ago, and I purchased one of them Bluetooth devices. Right. And I swallowed it. And you Excuse me, you swallowed it? I swallowed it. Okay. <laughs> and it's in my gut and my intestines is someplace, and it's still ringing. <laughs> <sighs> can you imagine? Oh. I know, I was just saying, can you imagine swallowing a Bluetooth? No, I'm, I'm a, a bullet, little more yes. upset. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys, little, you weren't on the same. A little more, um, yeah, it's, it's the actual bit. Oh, that's uh, the record. How is this supposed to be at all believable? <laughs> Who's in their car driving, listening to this, going, "Oh my God, I can't! I couldn't get out of the car. I have to, I have you're, to figure this out." You're questioning the plausibility of the premise. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The fake name. Her not reacting to the fake name. Akun Slambag. <laughs> From America. From America. Slam bag. <laughs> why would he tell her his name? <laughs> yeah, why would he what do an that? Idiot. <laughs> why is he tra he's trying to pull like a Frank Rizzo, yeah. but a yeah. little different, so it's not completely a ripoff, but yeah. right. it's the same character. Slam bag is original, though. Yeah, oh, that's good. Frank Rizzo is not a funny name, though. Al Coon Slam bag. Yeah, Al Coon <laughs> Slam bag. Open your fucking ears, Al Coon Slam bag. <laughs> you well, know, did he ever do Al Coon Slam bag when you were working there? No. Oh. This hilarious and real prank call continues. Wow. And I, listen, you need somebody listen, to I, help you know you what? I, here's what I don't want to have happen. Okay, I don't expect to be laughed at when I call tech support and explain my problem. You understand? I'm sorry. Um, I don't think that's right. Okay, um, yes, I apologize. Now, you want someone to do what for you? Well, here's the other thing. This is keeping me awake, because at night, when well, my stomach lights up like a menorah candle. That sounds like something you're going to have to take up with your doctor. No, sir. no, this is, I got my service from you, and I pay my bill every month. Um, oh, I'm not, God, not sure how we can help it. it. Well, like I say, it's a, like a menorah candle, because the light on the device must be blue, and my whole lower region takes on the afterglow of the unit. Okay, well, that doesn't sound like something we can help well, with. Well, my question for service. you, you're the Bluetooth person, right? Uh, yes, we are. Okay, my question for you is two-pronged, like your earlobes. <laughs> Number one, Thank how long love. can I expect a battery to last? Because so I'm expecting bad. a call, and so far I've been able to answer by pressing my belly button. And thirdly, <laughs> does... You're laughing again. I was coughing. See what I mean? You're coughing? <coughs> Excuse me. 
I, 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 I can't. It, 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 I, it just makes you mad. I'm mad. Yeah, we've all been on with customer service. I'm no. mad, too. No, no, no. See, you're not you understanding. You can't have the belly button thing. No, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you said Chip. it, Chip. Fucking ass is my president's belly button. This guy's out of control. A menorah candle. Yeah. Uh. How does he talk, though, with the thing in his fucking stomach, cocksucker? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, dude. It makes me mad because uh, if this show was out of, like, Elmira in New York, I wouldn't give a fuck. But right. New York is, like, the number one radio market in it's America. City, and this is the yeah. shit these people have to listen to. They want to listen to this. Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, my They're God, this in. lady well, has no idea. That's Todd, not Al Coon Slam Bag. The, the le guy's leaving the <laughs> house. <laughs> guy's leaving the house to go to work, and he's, like, rushing, like, oh, it's 7.30. I got a phone scam. Yeah. I'm going to miss it. He gets in the car, and it's like, I don't know a phone scam. And he's like, yes, I made it. Right. His wife's like, don't forget to kiss the kids goodbye. And he's like, no, can't phone do scam. It's 7.29. Phone scam. Phone scam time. Phone scam time. With Al Coon Slam Bag. I can't wait till 9.30. Is he a recurring character in the phone scams, you think? Oh, I bet. I hope so. How cool if, he came out, if he comes up with a name like that, I think he uses them. Oh, I hope so. It's such hey, a gem. It's Hey, would you blow me? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Well, Al Coon Slam Bag and Bert and Ernie's. Well, more phone scam. Are you laughing at me again in tech support? This is an actual problem. Okay. Um... There's a warranty on the BT cover accidental ingestion. Look it up in a book. And you want to know if the warranty is for ingestion? No. If I ate it? No. But accidentally. That won't be covered. But accidentally. I understand, but that won't be pencil. covered. Let me get a pencil. Wait a minute. I swallowed that yesterday. Okay. I was eating a pretzel garage. It was one of them little golf pencils. I guess it fell from the back of my ear and landed in a box. Okay, I don't think we can help you here. Let's get back to my Bluetooth. You're going to need to purchase another one and probably see a doctor to have the other one removed. Why is it called a Bluetooth and not a blue ear? Because it goes in your ear, not your tooth. Yes, it does go in your ear. Right. However, it doesn't go in your mouth, but I'm not oh. Listen, sure why they named it a blue tooth. I right. didn't swallow it on purpose. It was an accident. It it's just this goes nowhere. This, your, this is one of those Jocktobers so where you just get fucking you get mad angry. And bummed out. Now I'm angry. Did you ever say you ate a pencil? Yeah, yeah he thought it fell it was in a the pretzel, pretzel box. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. Alright, that's it for yeah. uh the phone scam. That's is it? it? I don't know if you're reading. You see, he swallowed his Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, that's... Fuck. I thought it was over. What's the name of that track? You see, he swallowed his Bluetooth. Oh. And that's the one you just played or haven't played? Fuck, I haven't played it. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Hey, let me ask you something real quick. Is your company interested in pursuing some marketing dollars on this? And should I be swinging by and demo the usage uh, of the model no, to the bullpen over there? No, you should probably be seeing your doctor. No. And then probably want to go to your store and purchase another Bluetooth. Could I give you my number and you call my stomach phone? No, I'm sorry. You're laughing again. Oh, okay, now, there it is. I'm hearing snickering and laughing from you. It's probably me coughing again. You have a cold? Um, have a tickle in my throat. Because it sure sounds like a laugh. You have a tickle in your throat, and I have a Bluetooth in my stomach. Wow. If I give you the number, will oh, you call edit. my gut phone? The edits I are great. You hear the edits? I've been yeah. listening to these edits. She goes, wow, click, and then there's just a, an edit. Yeah. She probably is really horrible, like, wow, you stink. Yeah. This is one of those puzzles. What happens is you get a bunch of audio and you got it. Like, okay, we got a wow. Okay, yeah. move the wow after he says this. You can yeah. hear it. Now, oh, she said that, so I'll say this and right. drop that in front of it to make it look like she's reacting to what I said, even though that's not what I said. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in there, she probably said, if, this is a prank call, obviously. Yeah. Yep. Oh. If I give you the number, will you call my gut phone? I won't be able to call your gut phone, sir. Why? We won't be able to do that. It sounds like something, like I said, you need to see a doctor about no. as far as the removal. What does the doctor have to do with my uh, free texting? <laughs> the doctor has to do with removing the Bluetooth from your Laughing. stomach. Right, but what does he have to do with my free, free texting? texting? Doctor, nothing. Right. right, so that's why I called you. <laughs> okay, and you want me to call you back? On my stomach phone. On your ah. stomach phone. To see if I can answer by touching my belly button. Oh my goodness, wow. And if it rings, oh. what? Well, I'll answer it. Then we'll know it works. You won't be able to talk to me. How will I know if it, you answered it? <laughs> no, I'm sure we're going to find out. Why, 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 it's why it's wouldn't over? he just disable Bluetooth and talk on his phone? Right. He probably would have shut out the Bluetooth yeah, device yeah, by shit now. It yeah. out. Like he did this oh. bit. How about you go to the emergency room right away? Yeah. Well, there you go. The phone scam from Scott. Cool. Wait, did you read all the... That's all right. What? Did you read the whole... 
I know you ripped the track list before, but if you just piece it together, if you read all the tracks. Don't worry, the phone scam is still happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Because Come otherwise. On. Come on. Come which on. Is, I don't, I, I you don't cut... like Jockedober, do you? No, I, it's I mean, extra work it's for you? Is that what it is? I mean, it is, but I cut the clips. So this I... is one of those Jocktobers where you, you're you hoping after the show we go, you know what, Sam, let's let's rest Jocktober. I cut, I did, is that I what you're the, trying today? I went to the work of cutting the clips. So I just don't want them not to get played. I don't think that's right. And it's also one of these bits you can't really work with. <laughs> Anyone else <laughs> notice that? Yeah, we just well, got to listen on other and get shows, mad. There's like, yes! There's the hole, and we're like, ah, listen to the, what you, you guys, say. All the shows that are really bad, there's a way to work it. I don't even know how to work this. I'm just I angry. swear to God, I don't know how to work this. Can I tell you something? What? The last five years. Years. This, Same thing? This is called the Scott and Todd arc. <laughs> you all love the banter and you're having fun with the voices. Yeah. And then you listen to the shoehorning and then you listen to the first track of the prank call oh. and you're like, oh, this is terrible. And then by the end of the prank call, you're kind of thinking about but, ending Jock Tony. But, yeah, yeah. but why can't we have more of there's a tree in my house? No, because. I want more of that shit. Because you can't have we it. Could, we could goof on that. This is the marquee the bits. This is so fucking bad. Plus, it's not. Real, obviously, he's he's it's it's a poor jerky boys, and then and and then she would know this is a prank. Anyone <laughs> would know. Well, he added that. I part didn't out. know when yeah. I heard this. Oh, really? Me and my mother were like, "What's he gonna do?" He swallowed the phone. <laughs> Just a Bluetooth chipper. Yeah. I don't know. My mother was like, Chipper, this guy should go to the hospital. I'm like, whatever, Ma. He's pressing his belly button. Your mom didn't pick up that it was a prank call even listening on the radio. What about no. that line, Chip, about uh, <laughs> being a Bluetooth? It should be a blue ear. It was cracking up. I was like, I said that. Remember, Mom, I said that. And oh, she said, really? that's right, Chipper. <laughs> do I get charged for stomach minutes? <laughs> yes, you do. You're if, you're, if you're using it. Look at Jimmy's face. He was just doing chip, having a good time. Because she's laughing, <laughs> but no one yes. in their audience is. You're right. so mad. And I don't terrible. blame you. Well, she's just a sales lady who works at the radio station. Why is she answering that question? I'll say she. her acting is not bad, though. She's actually okay. Uh -huh. She's not dead. She's the one who doesn't annoy me in this bit. The scenario oh. just doesn't Scenario. <laughs> Scenarios. Do I get charged for stomach minutes? <laughs> yes, you do. You're if, you're, if you're using it, if you're using the phone, you will be charged for the minutes. You're still laughing at me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not laughing. You know what? Maybe you no should eat laughing. a Bluetooth and oh see how goodness. it feels. I don't know what else oh, I could do for you. So stomach minutes count? Yes, that's a yes. They count if you're using the phone. But I'm not touching anything. If the line is open. And the phone is in use, mm -hmm. you will be charged. Yeah. How do I read my text? You need to contact them and have them disconnect your service. That's what you do. Uh, would you like me to Could you pause to the this? sales so they can? I would like to interrupt this and say, excuse me, you shithead. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't use a Bluetooth to read your text messages. Right. right. Well, none of it makes any sense. What's that no. got to do with right. anything? Yeah, this the... is the marquee bit. I it's... swallow my Bluetooth. How am I supposed to eat microwave popcorn? Uh, yeah, there's no accuracy to the prank. No. Uh, 7.30. Half the scenarios would never happen. No. Even if you didn't swallow the uh, Bluetooth. But can you imagine being that customer service lady going, Oh, well, I gotta oh. deal with this now. Oh, she boy. probably went home after this call and it's like, Honey, wait till I tell you about my day. No, got she doesn't. Uh, yeah. You don't think so? There's no one at home waiting for her. Oh. You know. <laughs> there's no one in customer service that's nice, by the way. What? Right. Oh. No one would fucking humor you and stay in the line with this shit. No. It's what you do. Uh, would you like me to put you through to the sales so they can uh, have your service disconnected? You know what? I get the same crap from Boost Mobile when I call them. Hmm. Yeah, you people are giving me the big runaround. Well, we're not trying to give you the runaround. Run trying to help you, but you keep going back to the same place. Well, that's where the phone is, you see. The Bluetooth's in my stomach, so that's the only place I can go. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about the Bluetooth being in your stomach. Well, there certainly ought to be something in your book over there about when someone calls about swallowing their Bluetooth. Well, no one um, is expected Flip to swallow the their Bluetooth. Go through the book. Flip. There's nothing in the book regarding ingestion Flip. of your telephone. Oh, my God. Holy fuck, I hate this. Can I tell you something? I'm really mad, Sam. What? Even when I was cutting the clips, I, I couldn't listen to the whole call. I was skipping through them. It's like, okay, that's about a minute. Okay, that's a good ending for a clip. It's so fucking badly done. They, they are fucking uh, terrible. terrible. They're absolutely terrible. I know. <laughs> these guys are awful. These are these prank phone calls. They're so bad. Is, is, is there more of this? I think that was it. Like, are they well, are they really goofing good. on the listeners? Maybe are they goofing on the listeners? Well, no, they've been doing like, this hey, since look, 1991. We're, so we're fucking around. We're gonna make it like it's a phony phone well, call, that's but it's it. not.
Oh, I, I thought hate, you meant they're bad, like, oh, you guys. I hate no, the laughter no. in the background, like the people laugh. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard this before. Oh, um, stinks. Yeah, no, we'll just follow along with, with, the, with the track list, I guess. I, I gave you, Opie. Well, Opie said it's done. Yeah, but well, we'll the just... next track actually says, "Are you st are you really still playing these tracks?" <laughs> <laughs> See, we were supposed to tap out. I didn't say I ate my telephone. I ate my Bluetooth device. I couldn't swallow a telephone. That's I'm not a snake. Or any accessories? We don't have anything about ingesting accessories. any accessories. Accessories is earrings and purses and whatnot. I'm not calling about that. Anything that goes with the phone, sir. Meh. Anything that goes with the phone is an accessory to the phone. And we do not have a warranty for swallowing any accessories. I don't need your flipping your yap. I need you to flip through the book. I flipped through the book. There's nothing here regarding ingestion. Can you call me back on my stomach phone? Oh! no help at all. Sound like a laugh to me. Man, I got a tickle in my throat. Well, I got a Bluetooth in my stomach. The only thing oh. that Scott added was flip on a bark. <laughs> Did you hear that? Flip on a bark. Flip. <laughs> flip. At the end of this whole thing, Scott goes, flip on a bark. Flip on a bark. Flip on a bark. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cold slam bag. You enter foe. Okay, Nugget, what's next? Now, what is that? <laughs> he came up with that. Sounds like De Niro at the end of Cape Fear. Tell him, E-Rock. It's an old ocean spray commercial. Oh. oh. I, thought, I thought it was a Scott. Thing. From what year? Like, 94. And he still uses it? still uses it. Uh, 94 is when we started doing radio. Hey, uh... <laughs> I have to piss desperately. All right, yeah, oh. we're going to take a break, Sam. This is what's happening. If you don't come back strong tomorrow, October is in deep Mark fucking shot. trouble this yeah. year. Yeah. Deep fucking trouble. Yeah. What do you mean? I thought the phone scam was no one, funny. No one enjoyed it today. Shit, Why not? It, it, it angered people. It, it just people. makes you angry. It angered people. The other shit is like... It's bad, but then we have fun with it, and yeah, that's why it yeah. works. This one, I, 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 we couldn't even work with that. Oh, but we don't want to go time of the month. Oh, but we, oh. You got oh, to come God. back strong tomorrow. Please. Oh, Awful.